Still on national matters, business owners in Akwaibom State grown under informal collection of tax and levies, a situation many said is affecting their businesses. Investigations revealed that informal actors and agents are taking advantage of the tax collection system in the state. Civil society organizations described this as another form of corruption which needs to be checked. Our correspondent Amadine Uye brings us this report. In 2018 alone, Nigeria proposed a total revenue of about 7.17 trillion naira, but generated about 5.2 trillion naira with the non oil sector, contributing about 54%, about 2.87 trillion naira. With low revenues from VAT, many blame Nigeria's abysmal VAT collection figures to the informal nature of the nation's retail space. An investigation into the taxation regime in Aquaibom State reveals grand-scale corruption with informal players collecting one levy or the other from business operators. At first, when I came in, that was 2017, I came and met the monthly levy of 500. I came and met the one of 1,000, but we pay 1,000 every month. Then after, the money was reduced to 500 naira, and um, recently, that started like three months or two months ago. We are now paying on daily basis. Before it was monthly, but later it becomes daily when they change the new government, like the new chairman we had. They just tell us, say, see people we're going to collect money for now until we get a new chairman. They don't tell us that they work with state government or. Now people are just there as in they control us for now, just they collect money. I've been riding this KK for the past five years now. Well, we have been paying levies depending on how you operate. Because since the time of uh, our past commissioner, Mr. Ntugude, we have been levied so heavily. But when no man doesn't come as a commissioner for transport, we reduce it. I buy a ticket, yes, I buy the ticket. The ticket from the from government. And we bought it to 200 naira. I did pay every week. Two times, Saturday and uh, Tamday, they pay two two hundred to villagers. They say they be villagers. They organize and send group that they collect money two times a week. Some of the business owners say they do not know the identities of those collecting levies from their businesses, or whether it ends in government coffers. Before we had a chairman and all of that, now they just come like just two guys. I don't even know who is their boss and all of that, I don't know. But it was an order given that these are people will be paying every day and everybody accepted it. Some people come in form of a specific person saying that they just come to get the hundred. Um, we know them, about two people which they come and get the hundred naira a token from us each day. But we don't know how they pay the money to the people collecting the money. Apart from knowing them by their faces, they only claim to be plaza management, to which there is no particular ID card or any approval to that, but we just know them as plaza management. We know their faces. They come here every day. Pro-transparency groups describe this as a form of large-scale corruption, saying these multiple taxes and levies impoverish business owners. Because government have seen the tax collection as a way, I've used it as a way of settling certain um, friends of the government. You know, that's why you have what you're having. They know better than to do what they are doing. And they are not helping, it's like shooting yourself on both feet. That's what is happening. The multiple taxation that you are seeing, it is not out of uh, place because all those uh, people, all kind of uh, union, association are being formed today not for the benefit of members it is for few individuals whether in the transport sector or in the in trading uh, sector it is the same thing just uh, a an extension of much of the impunity we see we see across the system but whether you talk about the federal the state the local uh, government level an attempt to reach the aquarium state commissioner for information proved abortive as he refused to pick up his phone when contacted to give more details on the state tax regime. Amadin Ui, Plus TV Africa.